Have you ever heard someone say they pushed their film and you didn't understand what that meant? Well, this video is for you because I'm gonna explain what a push is, why you would push, and what the type of results you will get when you push your film. So say you're shooting in low light like this and you're shooting Trix 400, which is a 400 ISO film, and you don't have a flash and you don't wanna shoot with a tripod and your camera at 400 ISO is showing you a slower shutter speed, like say a 30th or a 15th of a second, and you want an extra stop or two of light, which will allow you to shoot at a 60th or higher shutter speed to avoid camera shake. Well, then what you would do is set your ISO at a higher ISO that would allow you to shoot at the proper shutter speed. So say I shoot 400 ISO Tri-X at 800 ISO. I would set that as 800 ISO on my camera, keep it that 800 ISO the whole roll. And then when I'm done shooting that roll and I take it out, I would write plus one for a one-stop push. And I would also order that one ordering processing so the lab knows to push the film and which roll to push. Like I said, pushing film is typically used for low light, but it could be used for creative reasons. Say you want a little more punch to your tone, stronger contrast, then pushing your film could be a good option for that for a creative reason. But again, typically it's used for lower light situations. In general, we recommend shooting at box speed as film is designed to shoot at its box speed and will produce its best results. And when you push film, it will increase your contrast and typically results in a loss of shadow detail as well as highlight detail, especially if you're shooting in contrasty light. And it'll also typically increase or make your grain a lot more noticeable. But another thing to keep in mind is if you have a higher ISO film, you might want to choose that, like say a 3200 ISO film, you might want to choose that over pushing. For instance, this is T-Max 400 shot at 3200, pushed three stops. And as you can see, it has very strong contrast, a loss of shadow detail, a loss of highlight. The highlights have been blown out and it's just not the best image. And this is T-Max P3200 shot at box speed, which is 3200. There's a lot more shadow detail, better detail in the highlights, and it's just a better looking image. So it was a better choice to go with a 3200 box speed film over pushing a 400 ISO film to 3200. And then that way you can just save your 400 ISO film for brighter light. If you're planning on pushing film, be sure to screenshot this as it is a chart that shows you the box speed and depending on which ISO you shot it at, if what stop you should push or pull it. And if you wanna learn more about pushing and pulling film, be sure to check out the darkroom.com because we have a thorough blog that talks about it, shows examples and why you might push or pull film. And if you have any other questions, leave a comment below or send me a message, I would love to help.